back with Pressing Issues. I'm Maurice Chavez, winner of five public radio awards in the Vice City area, including Best Voice. On this show, we take complex issues and boil them down to simple ones so you can understand. On this segment of the show, we are discussing morality. What is it? Why do we need it? Since the beginning of time, man has asked questions. Why are we here? What time is it? And is there a place around here a guy can get a drink? Our ancestors, shortly after discovering fire, built tools to beat each other over the head. Early man, as seen in the cave of Blascoz in France, questioned the morality of making the mammoth extinct. I think we all know what happened there. Is it society's job to tell each other how to live? Divorce rates are up. Standardized test scores are down. Vampire sightings at the mall. Can the family be saved? Or, to put it another way... If we're meant to be monogamous, why weren't we born already married? Jan, over to you. I agree. I don't think these people understand just how hard it is to potty train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes it poopy. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman, but at least he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle, I told him to hit daddy next time he comes home late smelling of cheap perfume. Okay, moving on. Before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. Barry, you look like you've got something to say. I agree. Statistics show that families that spend time together naked are the best kinds of families. What? You see, social class distinctions disappear when everyone is naked. I can't tell if you're rich or poor, black or white. It doesn't matter because we're all naked. Designer clothes? Try designer nudism. My body was made by the best designer around. Mother Nature. That's why we're lobbying to build a naked casino in Vice City so old people can gamble naked and poor people can lose hope in the buff. <clears throat> well, this panel is certainly interesting. The issue is morality. People think that nudists are immoral. Well, we're not. I'm married. I love my wife. In our commune, it's so wonderful to wake up in a big bed and go to breakfast clothed in nothing but a smile. Go on. Tell me more about... Your family. My mother understood I was special. She made me wear a bonnet as a child, and when I demanded to go to school naked, she was fine with it. After social services moved me, she would still write to me. I still remember when she kissed me goodbye. Well, I'm a mother, so I have to deal with this issue every day. My adorable kids have learned that it's wrong to be naked. When it's bath time, they know to put on a bathing costume. That's, that's also the reason there are no mirrors in my house. Nudity leads to bad, naughty things. If you don't raise your kids right, they end up being like nude boy over there or uh, working in radio. I want them to get proper jobs, like being a doctor, not a patient. That is offensive. Clothes are plain wrong. When you're born, you're not wearing any clothes. When you die, you're not wearing any clothes. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. What if you die at work? What if an enormous piece of machinery falls on you while you're working? Clothes lead to immorality. Nudity stops people from fighting. Have you seen an issue of National Geographic lately? People around the world are nude. Have you been to the zoo? Animals are naked. If everyone were naked, there'd be no war. Everyone's complaining about crime and the theft of cars in the city. No one's ever stolen my car. No one's ever pickpocketed me. They've never even tried. <laughs> Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, Barry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Uh, n now sit down. Do you know how much money I save not having to wear trendy clothes? Read a history book. At the creation of the universe, the Big Bang, everyone was naked. Even you. Why do I have to stay behind this divider? Maurice, please take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our pants. Hey, enough, enough, no more. Not a word from you until you are called upon again. What's so wrong with me? Why do you hate me because I'm happy? Jan, give me a hug. I won't hurt you. Shut up. I I'm warning you. This is my show. You shut your mouth. Shut it now and keep it shut. Look at me. P please, Maurice, I need a hug. I've about had it with you, Barry. You are a freak and a liar and wasting everybody's time. The organs below the belt are for reproduction and removing of bodily waste. There's no reason that when I go to buy a soda or a transmission, I need to be distracted by your privates dangling about. Now, when I go to the store to buy an air conditioning filter, I'd rather not have to look at your moneymaker, amigo. I'm glad you are proud of it, but when people of Vice City are in a quickie mart, they should be able to have a simple financial transaction without seeing your fire hose. Are you with me? Sorry, Maurice. That's okay. Just try to behave. I think the sun must have got to you or something. <laughs>
Mary, what are you doing? I'm lonely, Maurice. Lonely, and I need some bodily contact. Get behind. Get back behind that panel. Don't be shy. Please. We've all got one. That means I'm happy. Hey, stay away from me. I'm a celebrity. Oh, good lord. Mmm. The fan feels so good. I feel you. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Ugh. Oh, a breeze is so liberating. Ay, por favor, shut up.